great transformations. New videos every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, boss, you are the best space guardian ever. You saved me from the evil potato and his army. No problem, honey. I will always be by your side. Oh, I love you to infinity and beyond. We will get married in the moon. Oh, boss, you are such a gentleman. Andy, dinner's getting cold. Wash your hands. Ah, uh, coming, mom. A few moments later. Oh, I just love the story that Andy came up with. Oh, yes, it was quite amusing indeed. But that was an excellent performance, Mr. Potato Head. Oh, yeah, right. You only say it because you always get to be the good guys. Performance? What do you mean performance? Yeah, well, as you see, Andy sets the scene and we just perform it. So, you won't always be on my side? Negative. No, uh, I mean affirmative. I mean, yes, I will be. You won't be marrying me on the moon. Uh, well, marriage, it's a really big commitment. And, you know, the wedding, so much expenses, so many people, so many guests. Oh, boss, we have been going up forever. Having dates, being a couple. I just don't understand why you won't marry me. If you're not happy with me, I'll just move on. Move on? With whom? <laughs> to me, her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> him if he wouldn't marry me i will move on to someone else <gasps> calm down i was just joking <gasps> well i think you did great darling he has to work harder to win you over do you really think so of course what is going on then well she got upset because i didn't request her to marry me uh-oh oh you're in big trouble son big trouble do you think Boss and I are ready for marriage? Well, I think you are. You've been going out for a long time. I think you are. Oh, oh marriage is the most wonderful thing in my life. Oh, marriage is the worst thing that could ever happen to you. Here is my advice, son. Don't ever do it. Oh, really? I swear, marriage is like not being played with for a month. Oh, no, that sounds horrible. Oh, come on, Uncle Potato. Marriage is not that bad. I really don't know what to say. I have never been married or had a girlfriend. I have always been all alone. Oh, you will find a nice lady dinosaur to make you happy, Rex. Oh, I hope so. You have to be sure he is the one you want to be with for the rest of your life. Well, and you have to be sure you can stand even his weirdest habits. Exactly. Oh, Forky used to behave really childish. But now, he's the smartest and nicest guy I know. Look at my hat! Everyone, look at me! I'm Mr. Hey, Forky! Hey, Woody, isn't that your underwear? <laughs> yes, but I thought that I had already thrown them away. Well, that surely means that Forky has been lurking around the trash again. Ew, that explains the stink. <sighs> oh, Forky, come over here! That is not a hat! Oh, Forky. Oh, oh, Mr. Potato Head! How do you even know who's the one? You just know, Woody and I make a great team. He always helps me with everything. I always help Bo with everything she needs, and I always try my best to make her laugh. I love it when she laughs. Oh, that sounds like really good advice. Yes, it really does! <laughs> Hmm, yes it is. I think I understand. And he always makes me laugh. Ah, oh, that sounds so nice. Yes, yes, but not everyone gets a fairy tale. Oh, I just don't know what to do. Was he so serious sometimes and I had a boyfriend that was so much fun. A boyfriend? Yes, he was great, but I don't see him anymore. Uh -uh. I think you should really focus on your relationship with Buzz. Now that I think about it, he kind of looked like him. Think about Buzz. Do you want to marry him or not? Well... Oh, my sheep. I really have to go hurt them. Billy, spit that suck. Girls, I think I need your help. Coming, darling! I don't know what to do. I don't even know why I thought of my ex-boyfriend. <sighs> All right, I think I know what I want. 
I will request Nebula's hand in marriage. No, boss, wait! Oh, man, isn't that something that you're supposed to plan out? Uh? Yes, and you also need to get a ring! <laughs> oh, that's right, the ring! Boss, wait! Nebula, I wanted to say that you make me so happy, and I would like to know if... You are missing the ring! I have one! Oh, Forky, that is not a ring, that is trash! Oh... Boss? Huh? That is not Boss. Boss is over there asking Nebula to marry him. If I wanted what? Um, to marry me? Ah! And the ring? Um, I will lend you mine, my amigo. Oh, thank you, Space Ranger fella. <gasps> it's you! I'm so glad to see you again. I am glad to see you as well. Oh, yeah, Boss. He's, um... My best friend, when I was six toy. Um, it is a pleasure. Oh, it's nice to meet you, my man. It's quite an honor. I was finally able to free myself from Sid. That's why I couldn't see you anymore. Don't worry, I am here now. <gasps> I have to introduce you to someone. Hey, Nebula, would you be my wife? And where did that space guardian come from? Nebula says that he is her best friend. Back from Sid's house. Oh, I see. So, did Nebula accept? <laughs> I think so. I'm sorry, but why are we planning a wedding if we aren't even sure that Nebula said yes or not? Well, Woody said we had to start planning everything for the wedding. All right. Girls, I've been looking for you. I wanted you to meet. What are you doing? We are decorating for your wedding. Oh, yeah. I wanted. What happened to your face, boss? <laughs> I am not boss. No, no, he's my. my friend. He's the one I told you about. That looked like boss. Huh? You said he kinda looked like him. Not that they were exactly alike. <laughs> but they are actually really different. Help! Help! Oh, someone needs help. I am coming. Isn't he great, girls? <laughs> um, Nebula, is that your ex-boyfriend? Yeah. Honey, but you're engaged to boss. Yeah, I know that. I just... Huh? What is happening? Boss is so serious. He never jokes around. He never surprises me. I don't know what to do, girls. Oh, no. I really need to surprise her. Nom, 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 nom. Thanks for helping me open this, Nebulous friend. No problem, oh, my amigo. Oh, you're so strong and smart. Thank you for teaching me how to roar like a true dinosaur. Rawr! Oh, please, there's no need to think. That's why I'm here for. Oh, I wish that boss was just like you. I think he's soft brand. Oh, that faker is trying to replace me and steal my girlfriend. He is friends with everyone already. <laughs> Hey, why do you have a ribbon on your hat? Oh, well, you see, Nebula's friend had this idea. He told me that with a couple of ribbons on my hat, I would never lose it. Ah, oh, that Nebula's friend? I don't believe he is just a friend. I will arrange the biggest surprise for Nebula and regain her love. Okay, I'm just gonna go hang out with Nebula's friend. Oh, Woody, come and help me. Okay, fine. Hey, guys, you are getting everything ready for Boss's wedding, right? <laughs> yes, Boss told us everything we had to do. Yes, everything according to Nebula's taste. A fruitcake, roses, and... Ha, huh, I think that we will be making some changes. <laughs> All right, whatever you say, you are the Space Guardian, not me. <sighs> I am so sleepy. <sighs> but I really need to keep an eye on Boss and his romantic dinner. <sighs> <laughs> All right, everything is ready. Nebula's favorite food is ready, and everything looks exactly like it did in her first date. Spacey? Later. <gasps> Thank you for this amazing surprise. It's just like... Our first date, that is correct. Uh, Nebula, I know that I am a little bit serious, huh? but all my attention is yours, and I know everything you like. I want to make you happy all the time. Oh. Let's have our dinner. Tomorrow is the biggest day for both of us. Sounds perfect. Later. Okay, I would say that the date was absolutely perfect. 
Ha! I'm proof that I am the best between me and that faker. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> ah! Let go of me! Let go! I cannot do that, because if I do, I couldn't pretend to be you and marry Nebula. <laughs> what? Surprise! Did you really think I was just going to let you in? Everyone prefers me over you, so I'm gonna take care of you. Help! Woody, help! Uh, uh, everything okay, boss? Uh, um, yes, everything is okay, Woody. Keep sleeping. Oh, uh, okay. Woody, help me! I will put you where no one will ever find you. <laughs> Nebula, are you sure about this decision? Yes, of course. Because you can't back down now, love. I know, even when I doubt it, he proved me he's the one. Doubt it? Well, sort of, but I was just confused. And it helped me realize that boss is the person I want to be with. <sighs> Today is going to be the best day of my life. Meanwhile... Guys, help! That fake costume has thrown me in the trash. Help! I am the real boss like you! Great! Everything is ready for the wedding! Oh, perfect! White lilies! And I hope that cake is strawberry flavored! Um, boss? What happened to your face? Huh? You look... Like Nebula's friend? Oh yes, he told me about this amazing face treatment. And I gave it a try. <laughs> oh well, you look like Sid squash your face! <laughs> yeah, sure, <laughs> whatever. Yep, well, I'm gonna go get everything ready. Later. In the void. We are gathered here today. Hurry up and marry us, you dinosaur. Hey. You're not boss. You're... Oh, it is boss. He just got a weird face treatment, you know, like face lifting and stuff. Oh, oh okay, yeah, oh, okay. Thanks, thanks a lot. But... Hey, stop interrupting me. Um, Nebula, do you take this? Yes, she does. Um, okay, uh, boss, do you take... Yes, I do. Oh, what a beautiful moment! Oh, Forky missed the whole wedding! Where could he be? Oh no! The wedding is over! Um, boss? Forky! Boss! You like trash as well! Huh? Well, I actually don't! What are you doing here then? It's quite a long story! Now, please! Take this off me! Only if you promise to play with me here in the trash! But... Alright, I'm leaving then, bye! No, Forky, wait! I hadn't even left! Okay, I will accept playing with you in the trash if you set me free! Perfect! Let go of me! You can't fool me! You're not boss! You changed the roses for white lilies, my favorite fruitcake for strawberry! Mrs. Potato Head and Rex told me so! The real boss would have known! But you used to love white lilies and strawberry cake! I don't anymore! Well, whatever, we're married, that's it! <laughs> I don't think so! Love! I personally asked Rex to marry us in case anything happened. He is not a priest or a judge, so you are not really married. What? Oh, I just wanted your love. I just wanted somebody to love me. No one wanted me. I had to survive Sid, and you were gone. I just wanted somebody to love. Uh, looks like you are in trouble, man. Don't you worry, fake space guardian. I know someone who will love you. Oh, really? Of course. Oh, I am so excited! Thank you for everything, boss! And I am so sorry about, you know, everything that happened. Oh, don't worry, no hard feelings. Really? No hard feelings? For sure. Hey, boss, but that post-it says that it's a toy for Carly. You don't mean it's for... Yup, and this cousin Carly. Oh, but that little girl is so rough with her toys! She's gonna destroy him! Oh, oh man, she's just heavy-handed. Besides, we already know that she really loves her toys. Well, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Good trip, astronaut! Thank you, guys! Oh, Mom, what is Carly's toy doing here? And now, just like I promised you, we are gonna get married on the moon because... Oh, boss! Oh, so <gasps> Hooray! Hooray! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
<laughs> Weddings always make me cry. <laughs> oh, so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Die transformations. 